Hello everyone. Hope you're doing well. It's nighttime here and I really want to go close to the ocean and take a walk alongside of it. It's about one and a half kilometer going, one and a half kilometer, three kilometers or a little bit more. And I love doing that every night. But sometimes I think it's important before I forget <laughs> to share with you some topic and then I can do something else that I like to do. And uh, they say never put what you can do now for tomorrow. So I'm going to do it now. <laughs> Even though it's nighttime and the light um, quality is not good, so maybe there would be a lag because when there's not so much light, this camera seems to be trying too hard. Anyhow, what I want to talk to you about tonight, I have no pathway to go, so I just chat with you, talk with you. Perhaps you can pick up things from it, from what I want to say, because um, that's the best I can do in this, <laughs> in this short notice. I just decided to sit down and have a chat with you guys. I want to talk to you about what do you think about the value of our life? You know? Isn't that has a lot to do with how we feel? You know, how you think of yourself, how you see the value of your life, how you gauge your value in life. The parameters that you have set in order to affirm or justify or show to you your value is that not the reason that you feel good or bad about yourself the way you gauge yourself the way you m measure your value and how we measure value, many of us, is based on things that we have achieved or not, things that we have bought or not, plans that we had and we would have liked to see it to have come to fruition or not, There are different criteria that we seem to be putting together as the determining factor for our life worth, our life value. That's basically what I want to talk about. I don't know how long that's going to be. <laughs> Maybe it's going to be a long one, but I hope to make it short. But it's warm and I'm not going to be speaking fast, so I'm going to enjoy my tea and have a chat with you guys. I hope you will enjoy it too. A short while ago, just about a couple of hours ago, I was talking to my son. And we often like to talk about matters of life, philosophy, and the role of our thoughts and consciousness to the way we feel and what is life and what is the value and these sort of things, you know? When you sit down with your best friend and you chit chat, that's what we do sometimes. And we noticed that I explained to, I was sharing with him some friend who told me just a couple of days ago that. Uh, He was feeling depressed more than any other time in his life. And when I was talking to him, my friend said, because I was frustrated that I wasn't achieving what I had set out to achieve with all the efforts that I've been putting into it. 
So I picked up that conversation and I was uh, brainstorming with my son and we were talking about, uh, I was sharing with him why this person was thinking that way. And I want to share with you some of that conversation. You see, sometimes we all, or some of us may feel very depressed. As if nothing, as we can't see anything worthwhile. And why would that be? Is there not the basics of life that we need to survive? Is that not any longer what we had a month or two months ago? Has anything changed drastically that has caused an alarm and feel of insecurity, psychological insecurity or not ability to be hopeful or to somehow feel life is not as valuable as it used to be or I am not as valuable as I used to be. What has happened that sometimes we feel so depressed for one reason or another? For some people it could be a breakup, for some people it could be not having enough money, for some people it could be the kind of car that they always wanted to drive they still haven't gotten it or the house they wanted to have they dreamed of the big house the trips they could take the focus on life that they could put on and the money they could have but they haven't achieved the money or the car or the house and suddenly they feel because they haven't gotten all what they had planned to and with all the efforts that they put into it they still haven't gotten it they get depressed as if life is no longer as valuable as it used to be or worth anything because of this. So we went further and we said, well then, let's examine what is the value of life that so easily we go up and down and get depressed and then we are not depressed when we have happy when we have money and then if we have a house or a car is that permanent when we have these things like happiness is something to purchase so when we have money <laughs> when we have car or house and things that we wanted to achieve and we have gotten it is that automatically a ticket to have purchased happiness and therefore and that happiness will remain permanent? Is that why we want all these things? Because that's a prerequisite to happiness? Or do we want it because it makes us feel we belong, we're valuable, we're worth it? Or is that we want it because that's when we realize life is good or is that we want this because that's when we realize we are alive and we're living and we have arrived to a place where it can allow happiness so it's a precondition and prerequisite to happiness to have these certain things is that why we want all these things? Is that how we get value and worth? Is it the actuality of that how that's how it has to be or or we conjured it up? Is our value and living and being alive and the meaning of life, the value of life is when we actually achieve and arrive to what we wanted to attain in this life, whether it's a car or a horse or a house or a money or money or did I say money two times? <laughs> or travel. So <laughs> is that why we want these things to f 
to understand the value of life and to realize we are valuable because these are the gauges and measurements that tells us how our life is and if we are now qualified to be happy or not are these the key that we are after to open the lock of unhappiness and become happy if that's the case I'm all for it I mean let's go after it and if we don't get it let's be depressed and feel terrible and obviously we are not we are not determining factor in our own happiness and things out there are what gives us the permission to be happy by having something then we are qualified to be happy I mean, if that's the case well you know we're a bunch of slaves I guess because we're not in control of our understanding what life is all about what is life all about it's about to come and get money and a house and car and then we realize what life is and what the value of life is so the, the value of our life is in the things that we ourselves actually produced it so So things out there that we, human being, me and many others in the world, have created is what attaining it gives me the value of my life, my worth. So I'm a commodity which its value is based on some pieces of things put together by myself which sounds like the old times when people would go into their basement and make a statue out of clay or mud or rock and chisel it and then call it God and then they would ask it for happiness and bounty of food and <laughs> harvest <laughs> so what it was them, their own hand, who made it. And they are now worshipping what they made it as to be more than what they are. So the creator of that little clay statute has made the clay that he himself made it to be the one that he should worship and ask to provide for him. But he actually created this little shit. And the same thing is happening with every one of us that we think by attaining money, attaining a car, attaining a house, attaining certain things, material things, then we have created a value for our life instead of thinking that the very fact that we desire something gives a value to that something otherwise as long as I don't want it that has no value it is my wishes my desire my focus on it that makes it to be part of my world that makes it to have any kind of a value if there is no desire for that me or anybody anybody else there is no value to that thing so who's giving it value I people like me you you want something that something now has a value you don't want it that has no value at least in your eyes so how is it that the very person who gives value to things by desiring it thinks that that thing will give him value you're the one who's giving value to stuff to a car to money to house and think that has made you valuable in fact it's your desire that has made that thing valuable to you 
and you think you're happy because of that thing but in fact you're happy because your desire gave an importance to that thing and now you want it you think that thing is valuable that you want it no it's your desire that made that thing to be of any value and now you are having it and you say oh, I'm happy but that happiness was in you all the time that happiness was your choice you chose to give value to that thing and now you go after and get it and now when you get it you say now I'm happy that thing didn't make you happy the fact that you gave it value and made it a condition for your happiness and said set a, a standard that if I have it I'll be happy you made your happiness conditional to have that thing suddenly then you're happy because you have it but really your happiness has nothing to do with that being in your life you said that in your thought that if I have that I'll be happy who said that without having it you can't be happy is that thing has a grab on your neck and says if you get me close to you and push the button that is on me then this grip will open and you will be happy there was no such power to that thing or mechanism to that thing so the happiness is not really contingent on that the happiness is a choice that you decided that I'll be happy only when I have that car, only when I have that house, only when I have that much money. So you're giving value to those things. So the value of your life is not in those things. Their value is in your life. Your life is what gives them value. Not that having them gives your life value. So the value of your life is already abundant is already tremendously infinite the value of your life the big lottery the jackpot that you think is the house is the car is the money is the girl if your woman is the boy the value the jackpot the big prize that you think it's all these things is not you've already won the jackpot you already have won the biggest prize that you could ever get in this life until death you will never be able to get what you already have what is that what is that imagine none of us are alive imagine all of us are in another world and they come to us in the other world let's say just play the play the game play along I want to show you something so none of us are in this world and we are all in different kind of uh, existence in some other world and then they come us come to us and say who wants to be born on earth who wants to go there and experience a journey we call it life on earth would you not think that is a jackpot that is what a game it's like going to a fun fair it's like going to a to a to a fun city you know one of these uh, um, you know uh, fun parks that you know we the kids go we go we play dart we play rides and all that it's a game like and if we are not here we are in the other world let's say there is another world and we imagine that earth would be a playground and they ask us would who would wish to go there you would say yeah that's like winning a jackpot you're having a life having a life in the physical form yes yes that's the biggest thing they say would you prefer this or that or that or so no I want to be born I want to have the life on earth so you win the jackpot they give it to you now you're born and a perfect life and perfect gift perfect jackpot that you want it needed nothing just you you're born naked 
nothing no clothes no car no house no money the mere the fact that you are born alive in this world was that what you called when we were in the other world the jackpot the biggest treasure you could ever wish for now that you're here you want this gift you condition your happiness based on garbage that is out there and your brainwash condition to think that unless you have that late model car on that house that money you cannot be happy you cannot feel valuable you cannot feel on top of the world because even though you have won the biggest jackpot of it, universe but here you're conditioned to think of yourself nothing unless you get material bullshit paper money gold car why because the system has created a way for you to think having things is what gives you value rather than you are the one who gives things value and the biggest most important gift of all times is already been given to you the life the fact that we are born on this earth living the journey is the actual all you need to feel fulfilled complete and happy not a condition of this and that for me to be happy and if I don't have it I'm depressed because I have not achieved the stuff the bullshit that they have put in my head that I have to have so I can consider myself worthy and happy and my life is somewhere and I've arrived and I'm valuable can you imagine can you imagine it's like you have talking about today's measurements it's like we have a city full of gold and we say unless I get a pile of shit there or unless I get that pile of zinc <laughs> or, or garbage I don't think this gold that I have is valuable I have to give this all and get that so it's the same way I say the fact that I have the life I'm blessed to be here alive be born have this experience of negotiating with life up and down this this beautiful game that I'm in it as as a player and experience all these things is the biggest and the most treasure that could anybody could find instead I say unless I give that all up work my buns up and hope and wish to have a certain amount of money or a car or a house or travel or this and that then my life is not I can't see the value of what I already have I can't see the value of the gold I have to get something that is least valuable less valuable far less valuable not even comparable to the gold in order to feel that my gold is valuable I gotta get all these garbage before I can think my life which is the most valuable thing on earth is valuable what would be the one thing that we would ask for if we are the last day on this earth that I'm on deathbed and what would be the one thing that I would wish for a most precious if they tell me what is it that you want that you think is the most valuable what would I say what would you say one more day one more day I can keep playing I don't want to come out of the park mom I still want to play one more day well now you have all those days and hundreds of days and thousands of days ahead of you but you're not seeing it you have limited your happiness to that fucking car a house a money and things that people you or like you have made it have built it have created it as the symbol of happiness prerequisite of happiness precondition of happiness having these things so you can see so the, so the most precious gift of all that you already have the birth 
the living, the life, can seem valuable and worthy to you. Is that the value of our life? Is that how we understand the value of our life? Or should we already see the value of our life is this fact that I breathe. I drink. I have things to drink. Water. I have food. Cherry. Who is giving value? Me desiring the cherry that the cherry is valuable or to attain the cherry that makes me valuable? Just like what we just talked about me giving value to the car because I desire it or the car giving value to my life well it's all about me my life first being here the very life of me is the cause of that thing being desired by me so all comes back to the fact that I am here let those things are valuable if I'm not here none of that matters so how could then those things be the condition for my happiness. I am what makes them worthy. I am what brings happiness to me. The life is here. Not when I have those things to consider. Now I have a life. Now my life is valuable. Now my life is worthy. My life is the journey. Not if I get somewhere, then my life begins or my life becomes apparent. My life is about the day-to-day -day journey. The fact of from here to there, from here to, to where I will get what I want to get, that I have planned in. That whole journey is my life. Not when I attain whatever it is that I've set my mind to attain. Money, car, house, whatever the hell it is. Girlfriend, marriage, this, that, whatever. The journey, the every day, the every step towards whatever it is that I want to attain. Go ahead. Go attain it. Go get it. I'm not stopping. I'm not saying no. Go get what you want. But on the way to get it is your life. Not when you get it. Don't make getting it prerequisite to your happiness. The way to get it is your life. Whether you get it or don't get it has nothing to do with your happiness or your life. The experience of life is this whole fact of being here and negotiating with whatever it is that you go through in life. Make your plans, make your best effort to attain and achieve whatever it is that you want to create and achieve. But none of it is a prerequisite or condition to your happiness and enjoyment and understanding the worth and value of you and your life. The fact that you get up, you breathe, you feel things, you eat, you drink, you see your best friend, your mother, your father, your brother, your sister. If you're married, you're married. If you have a, you know, whoever, somebody in your life. And if they're not, doesn't matter, other things. Whatever it is that makes you feel you're alive, which really all it needs is recognizing I'm breathing that's all I need to be happy prerequisite of happiness is nothing but breathing being alive that's it you understand that then you will be happy with the basics of life and that would mean happiness every day until the end and the last breath and the moment of life on this earth please understand nothing worth you being depressed nothing because your happiness and being a good mood has nothing to do with having attaining owning being part of anything or anything all you need is to recognize that you've already won the jackpot by having been born and you have been born naked with nothing means happiness doesn't need anything as long as you're alive in this form you can be happy in this form that's it and that's all i had to say and now 
I go for a walk. Have a nice day or evening. I love you all. Talk to you soon.